I had a club in Alexandria, uh, in Washington DC, which was the area that she lived in. And when I went there, I wanted uh, to find what the sensibilities were with local talent. So I set about uh, meeting, hearing local musicians, and she was one of them. I'm always driven by passion, and, and that's about it. I, I don't have a judgment call on technique or anything. I'm going, am I moved? Is this sweet? Is this got drama uh, to it? It was like when Stevie and Lindsay joined Fleetwood Mac, it was like, that's it, you know? Let's go. And that's how I first met with that feeling about Eva. Her voice was her, her ultimate tool of magic and the whole thing. But she, she was like, like a perfect band member, really. She uh, reminded me of, of playing emotionally with Peter Green. And I remember talking with her, and I, I was aware of this person who's just as pure as snow, crystals, just totally, and sort of stubborn, really. She was trying to get a record deal, trying to be, you know, noticed, but just almost thinking, well, it's sort of what I'm supposed to do, right? And she was looking for someone who understood her, except there was no one out there that really understood her. I basically said, well, why don't you go and and play the game. So off she went to a big sort of uh, get together in New York with some record company. They loved her music apparently and they saw the, her a potential but it was their potential. It wasn't her vision. So she came back from one of these trips and I remember and say well how did it go? And she said well Nothing happened. I basically all but walked out and said, I'm not going to do that. I'm not interested. They wanted to take uh, her, the essence of, of Eva, make it more accessible. But to her, it was like, but what about me? What about it? The essence of me. And I never brought that up again because I realized it was off limits. The very thing that they wanted to change became the uniqueness of her forever success and, and regard from, from all corners of the earth. Her persona was all about her music. Uh, she was a gorgeous, plain Jane, but gorgeous girl that had no interest in fluffing up anything. She just wanted to sing. You don't have to be brilliant. But she was brilliant and she had that childlike lovely thing which was just uh, the magic. And I call it it. So I look at her as an interpreter of, of songs. It was someone that had so much power and conviction about herself, that she could do that. I mean, some of the songs she would sing were, were so public domain, where you go like, why would you want to do that song? It's like been done by everyone. Well, because it's a great song and I can sing it. She was fearless. She wouldn't play the game and say, well, I'm going to do this, that and the other just to satisfy that. If I didn't feel right, if it didn't feel right, she's out of there. In terms of e Eva, and the way she's perceived now and, re and perceived, received and, and loved and uh, through her, her music. I, I'm certainly not surprised, but I know when those moments were really, really real that I, I went, something is happening now.